Linda Seeger can't wait to move back into her house. So you are thinking about getting back in here in three weeks time? We're hoping. Flooded out last June, along with 20,000 of her neighbors, Linda has almost restored her 100-year-old house eight blocks from the Cedar River. This was grandpa and grandma's house, and this is the hub of our family. While the city had mentioned possible buyouts for homeowners, Linda's family got tired of waiting and started building, sinking their life savings into the effort. But then, last December, the Army Corps of Engineers announced Linda's house is in a zone for construction of a new levee to be built sometime in the future. When exactly, no one knows, but it could mean Linda's new home is in the way and may have to go. Living in a FEMA trailer since July, she decided to proceed anyway. Even if we have a crane sitting next door to us, swinging across our yard. While there are a few reconstruction projects like Linda's, most of the 5,300 homes lost in the Cedar Rapids flood look like this one next door, decaying hulks in a depressing no man's land. Eight months after the flood inundated 10 square miles of Cedar Rapids, rows of deserted homes attest to a maddeningly slow and numbingly complicated recovery effort. We're going to buy out as many of them as we can and we will do it as soon as we have money. And that's the problem. Buyout money for Cedar Rapids is stalled in the Washington bureaucracy. Strict spending rules weren't even published until January. The federal money comes with all kinds of rules that make it very difficult to move things forward. Rob Hogue is an Iowa state senator. Hardworking Iowans shouldn't be told, we'll make a decision about your property in five years or eight years. Doug Ward was one of those hardworking Iowans. Oh, that's enough of that. Until the flood destroyed his business and more. Our house is gone too. So the house and yes. the business. And our church too. Like most of his neighbors, Doug is in limbo, waiting for answers. Hello. Linda Seeger took action because no one seemed to have any. Why not put back our home, enjoy it while we can? At least it's our home. <laughs> a spokesman for the housing department in Washington said there is a deep appreciation that the people of Iowa are suffering. And they certainly are. Dean Reynolds, CBS News, Cedar Rapids, Iowa.